Let me bring it up on there. <clears throat> okay, and we are, looks like we're going live here. And just a few minutes late, eight minutes actually. Eight minutes. Okay. So it was optimistic that we were going to get this one off at five o'clock anyway. <laughs> didn't have a lot of notice, didn't have a lot of time to work with, but wanted to get this in because the folks at HD Straps are working on some fantastic straps for Brianna's watch and two for mine, I think, and three for yours. And of course, I don't have my watch right now. <laughs> you don't? All right, you go get it. Yeah. Duh. I have my Apple Watch right now. Yeah. Uh, go, go, go get it. Go get it, young lady. You have to be wearing the gold stunner. Absolutely. While she's doing that, I'm going to clean my glasses, and then we'll get caught up on the chat. So, um, yeah, he sent me some in-progress photos, the folks over at HD Straps. And so I'm going to share those with you. So the, the job is in progress, total of five straps. And he didn't send pictures of the purple stingray one. I guess that one is still, I guess he hasn't started on that one yet. But uh, he did send some other photos. Let's get caught up on the chat here. And let us know if, uh, if Bree's audio is okay as well. Go ahead and say something, say hi. Hello. Testing okay. audio. Let us know how that is. And so, let's see, it's raining in the UK again, he says. Well, we had some snow yesterday, and I ordered a new A7S Mark III camera from B&H. And, of course, it got caught up in the snowstorm. We have not received it. And it was supposed to be delivered yesterday, right? Yeah. Yesterday it was supposed to be delivered. It and then they said today. And then they said today. It has not been delivered not. today. And according to the tracking, it's sitting in Hagerstown, Maryland. It's just sitting there, not going anywhere. And then the two high-speed memory cards that I also ordered from BNH, they haven't even left New Jersey, according to the tracking. So it's just a cluster, you know what. I don't know when I'm going to get the camera, and I don't know when I'm going to get the cards. Without those cards, I can't uh, shoot the 120 frames per second 4k video that's one of the reasons why i'm upgrading to that camera is it's going to allow me to shoot 4k at 120 frames a second to do some epic slow motion clips so we'll see when that comes uh let's see lance is in the house he says they got a lot of snow there 12 inches we probably got i want to say six or eight inches i cleaned it off of your car today and i think it was about six or eight inches of snow here uh, but the roads were clear this morning. I mean, they had everything clear, so I don't know why they're not delivering yeah. the camera. And the salt um, is out. May I ask, where are you? I'm in Maryland right now, and Lance is in Connecticut. That's correct. Okay, and Eduardo says hello, and Stig says, Oh, snow, how beautiful. Here it's raining, cats and dogs, and just got and just got locked down. Okay. It's good audio. Oh, good, good. Um, nice hat and dress. Yes, Bree. Thank Bree, you. Bree looks gorgeous in that dress. And uh, let's see. Hello, Eduardo. Lady Brenda, your voice is as stunning as your watch is. <laughs> oh, by the way, you want to tweet, tweet the link to this in case anybody on your Twitter wants to join in? Tell them to join in the live fun. Tell them you'll be live sure. for at least another half an hour. Um Let's see, and somebody says you beat me to it. Craig, would a day date without a bracelet be worth it, Eduardo? Well, I'll tell you, I was always, I was never a strap guy. And now that I have the 002 on strap, I love it. Now, one of the things I love about it is the deployant clasp. So the, the problem is if you had a day date on a strap, you probably wouldn't have a deployant clasp. Did did Rolex make a deployant clasp? Do they make a deployant clasp in 18 karat yellow gold? Because that would be a pretty cool combo, I think. A day date so with a uh, strap with a deployant clasp might be a cool thing to think about. But no, generally speaking, I would get a day date on the President bracelet 
and go with it that way because that's a pressure proof watch. You, you, you might want to swim in it and stuff like that. And I don't think you want a leather strap given those circumstances. So generally speaking, I would always get a day date on the president bracelet. Jaden says he got 20 inches of snow. Now, did you go out and measure it or are you listening to the media? Because the media's 20 inches is like real world 10 inches. So they tend to exaggerate. <clears throat> just saying um it looks like Bree used a different type of microphone yes she has a uh, shore sm58 and this is a beta 57 with a pop well it's not really a pop filter with foamy thing on it to help with the plosives right the SM58 has right. has that kind of it's kind of built into the SM58 oh, okay i see and I so, no, I, I only have one of these mics, but they're similar as far as the sound quality. Uh, let's see. They did, but the class cost 2 k There you go. So, yeah, that's what you'd have to do. You'd have to try to find a used one of those at a deal. Rolex, Ro Rolex probably makes gold deployments for Cellinis. There you go. Uh, Jaden says, I shoveled it, Craig. LOL. So he knows how deep it was. Okay. All right, so let's get into it. Let's show some of these these stunning straps. Yeah, let's show. I I tell you what, I'm impressed with the work that HD Straps does, and we'll talk about this um, <clears throat> as we view the photos. Oh, come on. On Flickr.com. Come on Slash here. Photos. I want to get back. I want to get out of this view here. Come on. Just fighting me. We've been busy oh, though with the to be music videos. Working okay. on some music videos. Yeah, you keep an eye on, the, on that chat there because I'm trying to fool with this. Getting these. Is this not working up. anymore? That. It probably does, but this is this the scratch pad's working fine. It's just that Flickr is, has issues sometimes. Okay. okay, so the first strap we're going to look at here, this is Ostrich, and I'm not sure which watch that's for. That that could be for yours. Uh, he doesn't have the measurements there, so we don't know, but, but we're, bo we're both getting a black Ostrich, I believe. Yeah. Um, I like the, the grain to that. I like the look of it. That's, of course, Ostrich leg. So it doesn't have the, the bumps on it from the, from the feathers. So that's what's called smooth ostrich. And that's the small scales. And I like the small scales on the ostrich. I think it looks classy. And you can't really tell from this photo, but the edges are folded. And we'll talk about the significance of that as we go through here. <clears throat> here is the underside of one of the croc. This is a black croc. And we're each getting a black croc, croc. also, I believe. Think or so. maybe I'm not getting a black croc. Maybe I'm getting a brown clock. Yeah, croc, because I already have two black crocs. I think I'm getting a brown. Okay, so, and what, what you're looking at here is you can see both the top and the underside. The top is the croc, again, folded edge, and then it has that other piece of leather and that's glued to that, and then it's stitched all the way around, which is very important if it gets wet or something like that. If it's just glued, it could come apart, but the stitching will hold it together a lot longer. So we'll keep going here. There's, a, there's one of the brown Crocs. There's a side view, and this kind of shows that folded edge. You can see the difference. Uh, if you see a strap that's just cut on the edge and they just kind of paint like some some black, you know, on the edge, but it's not folded, you can actually tell. And so it's much classier looking with the folded edge. And there's another picture of an ostrich. <clears throat> and there's the croc again. And croc in brown. And here's the underside when he's just starting to work on it. And you can see he's getting ready to fold that edge over. He hasn't folded it over yet, okay? And here's a piece, a couple pieces of the croc, and there's the again a in progress 
and there there you can see the folded edges you see how it's folded over yeah and all the way around and up to, to the tip there see how he cuts it at angles there so he's able to fold that even at the tip of the strap it takes a lot more labor to build the strap with the folded edges but that's the correct way to do it so a lot not of cheap a lot of the cheaper <laughs> straps are not folded edges, and it's a lot quicker and easier to make those straps, especially if right. they don't stitch them. If they just glue them together, then that's a piece of cake. But even if they just put them together and stitch them without folding the edge, it's still a lot less work. Um, and we got some pictures to look at. We will look at. Let's go through these some more. <clears throat> and again, there it is in progress before the folded and here it is before he's punched the holes in it and before he's stitched it. That one's not stitched all the way around. Okay. And again, there it is before being folded. Another look. And see how he puts the uh, Q-tips through there to, to yeah. establish the place where the pins are going to go through? And you can see that one has no holes punched in it and is not stitched yet. And here's another one, the crock, same thing. And there it is on the back side again, showing the folded edges. This is before this the leather lining piece is put on, right? There again, a work in progress. You can see before the folding. Again, another in progress shot. I think I find this fascinating, the, the work, the hand work in the detail and there's me <laughs> okay so there you go cool. all right let's catch up here um sent two dress watches to your email and eduardo is talking about an 1807 for 7800 usd a decent price 1807 is the bark finish which i've started to like that that watch um if that watch is full bracelet and in great shape that that's a good price, absolutely. But without a bracelet, seventy eight hundred. No, that would be a no go. No bracelet. Okay, says eighteen oh seven eight had no bracelet. Yes, yeah, seventy eight hundred is a little bit. You know, that's all the money for a watch without a bracelet. All the money and then some. So it better be fantastic, in my opinion. <clears throat> okay, let's look at this. Go ahead and cut to that, Bree. And there's the Omega, $1,159. Not a bad price. And that puppy's on a strap. I like it. Yeah, it's a classy looking piece. And I like the solid, non skeletonized hands. Now, again, I don't particularly like the way the lugs look like they're welded on instead of flowing into the case. You know how yours doesn't have this seam? Here, right. Please? See how it just flows? Yeah. yeah I, I like it this way. I, I like the lug design on yours better. On yours too, right? Yeah, mine's the same way. Well, yeah, I wouldn't have bought it. If yeah. It had the, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm kind of picky that way. I don't buy marginal watches. Life is too short to buy marginal watches. I, I or to collect them. I buy the <laughs> I buy the stunners. It's gotta get wrist. I, I time. see I see a lot of watches in the forum still that are just not attractive watches. We we've seen that that seems to be a problem. We've talked about it before that sometimes some of these people just don't have really good taste when it comes to picking accessories, things like watches, shoes, boots even, right? Remember the boots? We've seen some boots that just weren't... Are not stylish. They're not as attractive as yours. Yours yeah. are stunning. I have the snakeskin right now. Let's, let's switch to this one here. Okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. 50th anniversary right on the dial. I have not seen that. That is pretty neat. And the lion. And the texture. Oh, I love the lion, absolutely. You have it on the back of yours, right? Right? I think you have it on the yeah, back of your gold, watch. Yeah, gold. Gold color. Well, Not just gold, gold color. It's it is gold. <laughs> <laughs> it is the real deal. This is kind of neat. This is a neat looking piece, Brie. 
It's a neat looking piece. Oh, was it? Did it say it's platinum? Let's go back here. Oh my goodness, it's platinum. Whoa. That's cool. That's going to be a high dollar piece. Lance is really stepping it up. Yeah, well, it's thirty six thousand dollars. I guess Ooh. so. Lance is really stepping up. I'll tell you what. He's no joke, right? Lance is no joke. Um, yeah. Okay, somebody needs a wrench. Eduardo is vouching for him. Let's see if we can get another uh, wrench, wrench member. member to vouch for. Uh, I'm going to just call him 66 because I can't pronounce his name. I'm going to call him 66. Let's see. We need one more wrench member to vouch for him, and then uh, we got to issue a wrench here. That's what we're going to have to do. Let's check awesome. the time with the 231 Stunner. 231 Stunner. By the way, folks, subscribers only, that watch will be offered to subscribers. If a subscriber wants to step up and buy that puppy, it will go down the road because I'm convinced that I can wear the 002 all the time, especially with all the extra straps I have coming. That's one of the reasons why I ordered all the extra straps. To wear it. Yeah, if just a strap whenever. wears out, I just replace it. No big deal. Just replace it. You'll just get a patina on the watch, and it'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your watch has a patina to it, and it looks gorgeous. Still. Why don't you give them a, show them a close-up on camera, too? Yeah. Get it, get it so it's in focus. Yeah, get a little closer. There we go. See where that Seiko really gets in focus there. Yeah, that I would say that's pretty stunning. I would think so too. Look at the way the light's reflecting off it there. <laughs> you can't get too close, it'll get out of focus. Yeah, right about there is in focus. Yeah. Well done. Well done, Bree. You got a good you got a good one there. Eduardo says, Can HD straps make straps with quick release spring bars? That's a good question. I would ask them. It's very possible that they could. <clears throat> very possible. I mean, for me, it's not that big a deal. I don't switch mine that often. So for me, it, it wouldn't be a big deal either way. But I can understand if somebody switches them out on a regular basis that they would definitely want that. But what I'm planning on doing with mine is really just switching them out when one starts giving trouble, when it starts wearing out and, you know, starts looking marginal, then I'll switch to another one and then wear that until it wears out. I'm, I'm not planning on just routinely switching watch straps. Uh, so each person has a different use case. Um, what else? Let's, let's check some tabs here and just see if there's anything else we need to review here before we close them down. Oh, there's some boots. <laughs> and close that down. No hazy boots. Yeah, well, there's your, we might as well show that. Here's Bree's. Oh, uh, I have more than 800 subscribers now. Should I refresh it? Yes, please. Bree says absolutely refresh it. Wait till it loads in and then you can cut to it. There you go. Yes, 803 subscribers. Awesome. Bree's right on top of her subscriber <laughs> subscriber count <clears throat> all right now Very let's close see what else <laughs> and so subscribe. and this is your website let's, let's show that you can follow me on all social media there is your website platforms at prefit dance on everything yeah and donate um, something. You can donate. <laughs> yeah. There's QR codes on there. You can make a donation. Donate Bitcoin. Bitcoin's been pumping lately, Bree. I think you've been pumping it up. Here's the, uh, the alligator boots we showed the other day. My, my alligator Lucchese's. We showed them. We can close that window out. <clears throat> What's this one here? Oh, here's the coat that your mom did custom work that your mom did and speaking of Lucchese boots you're wearing Lucchese boots there yes absolutely and let's see what else and that's your show and we're just going through the tabs here 
block phi. Oh, that's the Lucchese, um, this is the Lucchese blog post that I have for Lucchese boots. Okay, and that is arieguides.com slash Lucchese dash boots dash USA. So there you go. And you can find that. And let's see. Oh, here's the Grand Seiko page. That I have on my website. Grand Seiko. Yeah, Grand Seiko. And look at that watch. That, that looks familiar. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's the one Bree has on wrist, which I was a previous owner. And, of course, Blue was a previous owner. So this is a page worth looking at. There's a lot of Grand Seiko. There's the watch I have on wrist right now. So uh, let's see what else we've got here. Grimes Graphics, we talked about the um, shirts that he did for you. Grimes.graphics. Grimes Graphics. that's it. Grimes.graphics, that's his URL. Pretty cool. Shut one that one down for now. This one, we'll shut this one down. And let's see what's happening. Let's get a check and see what's happening with... Um, BTC. With the Bitcoin, Bitcoin, it is at 22,902. 22,902. It was over 23,000 for a while there. Pulled back a little bit. Now it's trying to climb back up again. Um, do you know if just, uh, let's see. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, Craig keeps all his clothes but regularly flips his watches. That is stunning. Actually, I would say regularly. I mean, I've had a number of watches uh, over the years, but it's not like I, I do it like every week or two. I mean, uh, <clears throat> the main reason why I've went through several Grand Seikos is I was new to the brand. Mm -hmm. And you didn't know what you was, really don't you know until you wear and use a watch if it's if it's really going to work out for you and and I've had the um, 231 for a couple of years like two and a half years or something so I mean that's not I wouldn't call that a quick flip now I didn't have the snowflake that long because I just decided it was redundant didn't need it um, the 038 that you have on wrist the only real reason I sold that is the subscriber blue really wanted it but you actually and liked it. I did. I did like it. it. It is a little bit wee for me. If it would have been 36 mil as opposed to 35, just oh, a little bit yeah. bigger, it would have been perfect. But yeah, I, that size like perfect for I me. could be wearing that right now. I'd be happy. Right. And the other thing, I do like the deployment clasp on the 002. I mean, the 002 is a stunner. I have to give it that. It is a stunner. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't call that a flip either. I wore that for a while and again, only sold it really because the subscriber wanted it. And um, and the same thing with the 005, that was the 005, was the um, GMT, I believe it was an 005. Um, it just became redundant. I just wasn't wearing it. So if I'm not wearing a watch, absolutely, it goes down the road. Uh, do you know if Mr. Dat... <laughs> it works on the strap or does he have employees? I think he has employees. He does quite a bit of business, so I would not be shocked at all if he has employees there. Uh, Coinbase going for IPO, would you be a buyer? I doubt it. I doubt it. I, I would rather just have the Bitcoin. Rather just have Bitcoin than buy uh, Coinbase stock. But yeah, if I wasn't, if I didn't have Bitcoin, then yeah, I would probably buy Coinbase stock. But I'd I'd prefer the Bitcoin. Day dates have really jumped up in price. 18238s are going for 15K. Well, here's the thing. <clears throat> I'll tell you what's happening. The dollar is definitely devaluing. And you're going to see any hard assets, any relatively scarce items, you know, items that are in somewhat limited supply, and Rolex falls into that category. You're going to see all these things benefit in price because the dollar is 
being relatively rapidly devalued. <laughs> so your dollars are not going to go that far, folks. So if you're sitting on U.S. dollars, I would put them in something. And that's what people are doing. They're buying stocks. That's why the stock market is going up. And that's why, you know, real estate has been doing pretty good here lately. And that's why Bitcoin is going crazy, is people want to get out of fiat. They want to get out of those fiat dollars. So, yeah, you're going to see things like that happen. Uh, Michael Saylor did. Yeah. <clears throat> he had cash flowing and it was just like it was, ice melting. It was, yeah, he said it was like an ice cube melting. Ice cube melting. Craig, I sent an email of the Strap HD made. Oh, B&H oh. photo. I got to take this. <clears throat> this is about the delivery. Let's see. Hello. Can I help you? Hello. This is B&H photo returning the call for... Craig Press 1 to connect to the next available B&H associate. You will be connected to the next available associate. I may need <laughs> to get the model number. I mean the, the order number. Um, Should I get it? Let me see if I can get it here. Is that Titanic? No, that's not Titanic. <laughs> Sorry about this, folks, but I, I want to pester them about the, the camera, and they're real hard to get in touch with. So, um, see if I can get logged into this. This will be a miracle if I can get logged in on this computer. Oh, I did. Okay. Orders. Hi, I have two orders that are being shipped to me, and there are problems with both of them. One was shipped and was supposed to be delivered yesterday, and it was not delivered yesterday, and then they said it was going to be delivered today, and I called uh, FedEx to, to, to try to figure out exactly where it is and so on and now they're saying it probably won't be delivered today so and then the other package according to the tracking hasn't even left new jersey yet so i'm just oh for two here on on this camera that's being shipped to me from by you guys and the two memory cards for the camera Yes. Yes. Let me give you the uh, order number of the camera first. That's one zero seven zero two four two one eight three. Thank you so much for that. And with whom am I speaking with today? Uh, this is this is Craig. I'm the one that ordered the stuff. Thank you so much, Craig. And Craig, can you verify your billing address, me, please? Well, I'd rather not give that. I'm actually on a live stream right now. <laughs> I, I don't want to give my address out over the uh, live stream. Maybe you could right, type no it. So let me see what I can try to find for you. Just bear with me. Yeah, I just want to see where these things are. You know, I mean, I don't want... Oh, no, I definitely understand. not trying to exchange... I'm going to try to look into this for you and see what I can find out. I am showing that that camera shipped to me today. Yeah, I've been checking the tracking, and it's not helpful at all. Yeah, so there definitely was a weather delay on this package due to the current weather in the East Coast. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys got in Maryland, but... Yeah, the, yeah it's in Hagerstown, which is pretty close to me, and the roads are clear today. I mean, it's everything's clear, so I don't know what they're doing. Oh, no, I definitely So what I definitely can do is I can definitely open a request to my shipping department to reach out to FedEx and try to find out exactly what is happening with this package. Okay. Okay, can I give you the other number for the other package? Sure, let me see if I can try to find it. Hold on a second. With this information, I most probably can't just find it. It ends in... Two, two. That pro grade, uh, 120 gigabyte yeah. Cards, two pack. yeah. And those, they... they yeah, those, they said that they never even received them, FedEx. They never even got them. Yes, yeah, so I am showing that as well on the FedEx website. The reason for that is that they just shipped out yesterday in the middle of the snowstorm. So it is taking FedEx about 24 hours to update that in their system. 
with their packages. Um, okay, well, uh, so so we have no idea at this point when that one will even leave New Jersey, huh? Correct. So it most probably has hit the FedEx facility already, but it unfortunately hasn't updated yet. Do we have any idea at all when either of these items are going to be delivered? Because, you know, I have to be here to sign for them, and I don't like to just hang around all day if there are things not even coming. I've missed two days of work right now, yesterday and today, because I'm waiting for to sign for this package. So the FedEx tracker should update on this other package by tomorrow, I would imagine, giving that exact ETA, and it most probably would arrive to you by Monday. Okay, but and, you know, and but that one, yeah, that one I'm not... Possibility that it might arrive yeah, during the yeah, that one I don't need to sign for. The, the, the cards I don't think I need to sign for. The camera is the one I need to sign for. So that's the one that it would be helpful if I knew what day it was going to come. Oh, no, I definitely think so. Regarding that, unfortunately, I have the same information you have in my system as of right now because I'm looking at the FedEx tracking site. But I mm -hmm. am going to open up a request to my shipping department as well to reach out. To All right, so when you know something, will you email me or something? Or what will um, you do once so you know? I will advise them to try to keep you updated via email as well, correct? Once well, that would be email. helpful. Thank you, my friend. It's definitely my pleasure. I do apologize really about these delays. Um, is there anything else I can assist you with today, Greg? That's it. That's it. Perfect, then. Thank you, then. Um, have a great day and happy holidays. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. That's not... They, they weren't of any help at all. So there you go. We don't know. We don't know when we're going to get it. All right. Let's go to... Um, look at the mail. I think... I think... Didn't Jaden send us something? Buser, okay, so I've Eduardo. got okay, so yeah, okay, the HD straps, I got that, and Eduardo sent something, okay, interesting on Quono 24. Let's look at this first. So he's got a Rolex 18 karat gold date eight, okay, that this is the one, okay, visit listing, okay, let's take a look at once this loads in, we can cut to this very. There we go. Go ahead and cut to that. At least it's got a Rolex clasp. I assume that's 18 karat gold, the clasp. It's hard to tell with these photos. These aren't really real realistic looking photos. So it's hard to tell, but it looks like it's not overly polished or anything, but I don't think you have to rush to buy that thing. I think that's all the money for it. That's Canadian 9700. But I, I still think that's all the money. Um, you may call me Kurt. I can call 66 Kurt. Cool. I may not remember that though, Kurt. <laughs> if he had Kurt. Yeah, why don't you, yeah, yeah, make it, make it Kurt, make your username Kurt66, or Kurt Wells66, or something like that. Yeah, something we can decipher. Um, waiting on hold live, yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, I enjoyed the preppy handbook episode. I hope the preppy attire and style makes a comeback. Well, it's, it's always been in style, that's the point. All of that, all the clothing items that you would see in the prepping handbook and all those things are timeless. That's the beauty of it. Right. Khakis, button-down Oxford Brooks Brothers shirt, even a sport coat like the one I have on right now. This is um, camel hair. Uh, this this is would be very timeless. So, yeah, anything that's a real classic, a Burberry trench coat, anything that's a real classic design, that's always appropriate and you can always wear it and it's and it's fine uh always of course nobody knows how to dress anymore anyway so if you dress halfway decent you, you've got a huge competitive advantage right out of the gate you'll get the job faster than the other one that's right you're gonna have an edge all right let's go back here to um see these photos see this photo There you go. This is, oh, yeah, let's take a look. That's a HD strap that was made custom to go on the 005. That is nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. I like it. Now, is that the, is that the only one? Is that the only one that you have for that watch? Or do you have uh, just that and the bracelet, I guess is what I'm asking. Uh, so, yeah. Um, 
Just call and, him Wales. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so yeah, and I don't know when he's gonna when he's gonna mail the straps either. Oh, he hasn't gotten back to you yet. No, he hasn't replied, and it, I don't know when he's gonna have the purple one. Now, I just wrote him today about the purple one, and asking about the shipping. So, you know, and he's in. Um, Bangkok or somewhere. He's in Vietnam or somewhere. I don't know where he is exactly. Is he in Vietnam? I'm not you sure. Told, you I'm told not me. sure. Somewhere like that. Uh, <laughs> so, so yeah. I mean, that's a good-looking strap. He does good work. So, I, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing the um, the new straps that he's done. Me too. And again, he he's done, doing these special with the folded edges. Remember, most of most of the straps, even that he makes. Do not have the folded edges. Uh, that's extra work, uh, more tedious, uh, and most strap makers do not do that. Now, the factory straps that come with a Grand Seiko do have the folded edge, and I'm guessing yours does. Let me look at this. Hmm. With the wear that it has, it's hard to tell. But yeah, that's folded. Yes, I'm looking at it now in the light. Yeah, that's definitely a folded edge. Yep. And this is the original strap. And it, <laughs> it's held up remarkably well, considering how old that strap is. And the only real reason why we had to order you a new one is it's too long. It's just way too long. Yeah. Yeah. So we kind of had to order you new ones. But that one is still holding up. <clears throat> I'm way ahead of then. I have preppy sisters who make sure I receive nice clothes on birthdays and Christmas. There you go, Carl in the house. Yeah, like a, for example, a cashmere sweater is always going to be in in fashion. A uh, a cashmere top coat uh, is always going to be, you know, a dark blue, you know. Chesterfield or whatever they call them, the, you know, that kind of style is always going to be in. Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look, Bree. Um, oh, and the lapels. Yeah, let's take be. a let's take a look. Let's go and give give them some examples. Yeah. Let's go. Well, first of all, this whole outfit right here would always be in style, right? I mean, I think so. That's an Indiana Jones coat and. A Willis and Geiger safari shirt and Bill's khakis and Lucchese boots and, of course, a uh, Stetson hat. What, what would not be in fashion and style there? And that, that could all be from the 30s or 40s. That shows you how timeless uh, stuff like that is. Uh, so let's find another example here. Quality clothing and accessories. We've got a whole, whole slew of them here. And there's a bunch of different suits, different brands that you could get. And notice these all have pretty conservative lapels. This cashmere coat here, which I've worn before, that the lapels are a little bit broader than you would want to be really timeless, but it'll work. It'll work in a in a pinch. Most of these others are a little bit narrower than that. And these this that's a timeless lapel style. You have that lapel right there and you're you're always fine. Talking about camel hair, this is the coat. This is a similar coat to the one I have on right now with the camel hair. Uh, and there's another one that's camel hair. Harris Tweed is always good. Always a good way to go. A Harris yes. Tweed sport coat or a Harris Tweed top coat. You have a Harris Tweed top coat. Yes. Of course, anything from the Georgetown University shop, that's from the Georgetown University shop there. And there's some shirts and so forth, some accessories. Of course, Rolex, Grand Seiko. There's Bill's khakis, always a good way to go. Made in USA, there's a cashmere top coat. Burberry trench coat, preferably all cotton, 100% cotton. And there's a Harris Tweed top coat right there. And of course, Lucchese boots. There's the Wested coat we're talking about. There's another Burberry. There's some more suits. So you can go and look at all these photos. They're all on my Flickr. And Kenneth Gordon, I love those shirts. That's their heirloom collection. And, of course, in the book is also Gucci loafers. They're in the preppy handbook. Uh, 
Notice the president bracelet there. So yeah, all of these things are good. And there's the Gitman Brothers shirts made in Pennsylvania. So that's why we put photos of all of this kind of stuff is so that if people want to get some stuff, they can, they know what to get, right? And this is all timeless. None of this stuff is trendy. All those alligator belts, wear them forever. All these cashmere sweaters, you can absolutely wear those anytime in the wintertime, right? Absolutely. Safari shirts again. Look at all those alligator belts. Nice, nice uh, 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 camera bag, camera bag slash, uh, I use that for my computer, that one in the middle. There's the 038, Brie. Nice. Yep. Some Oxford, Oxford suits there. Anyway, there's a ton of them. Just go take a look. That's why I put them in there for, uh, to help people out. And Cheetown says, hi to Bree and Craig. Nice. I like all of that. Carl in the house. And I believe I have a link in the description to that. The Flickr? I, I think I have a link to this set in there. Um, if not, I definitely have a link to my Made in USA section. I believe that's in there. Um, if we go here, can we actually see it? No, we can't see the description. But I will try to make sure that that's in there if it's not in there. I will try to make sure we get that link in there. That link should be in there. <clears throat> I see the links. Do you see any one for the clothes? I don't see you Flickr. You see the cowboy boots. I don't see Flickr, though. Yeah, okay, you're, you're right. There's only the, uh, the Area article. guides. Lucchese article. cowboy boots, yeah. There's probably a link from there to the Flickr so they can get to them through that. But we should put a separate link to this So it can set. be faster. Yeah, to this whole set. Kevin asked, um, <clears throat> does he charge more for folded edges? Yes. Yes, it's going to be extra money. It is a lot of extra time. And yes, it will be more money, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I think so. I think it adds a little little bit of a classy touch to the strap and will last a little bit longer, I think, too. I think it'll help the longevity of it, too. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Um, uh, Craig, some say that the color of your tie should always be darker than the color of your shirt. Do you agree? Well, that's usually going to be the case. I mean, I I almost never wear like a black shirt, you know, like the um, the New York hoods do, and so on. I mean, I, I most of my shirts are not going to be a darker a dark color. So yeah, usually the tie is always going to be darker just by default because the shirts are not very dark. So yeah, I think that makes sense. Now, if you're at a white tie event, right? You're probably going to be wearing a white shirt and a white tie. And a, maybe even a white uh, uh, dinner jacket. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> but I don't do that, at least not anymore. Let's see. Uh, the day date is a no-go. I've also located a birth year date just for 6.5 USD. Sent pictures of the date just. Okay, we'll take a look. Blue's in the house. He was the previous owner of your watch. Grand Seiko on wrist. Yeah. On Bray Fit Dance. <clears throat> is the owner. New owner. Absolutely. Take a look at this birth year watch. Nice. Yeah. Looking sharp. Looking, looking, hey, looking sharp. You see that bezel still has, this is the bezel around the, around the uh, crystal there still has nice sharp edges to that fluting is so it hasn't had a lot of wrist time hasn't had a lot of wear it's a good sign it's a pretty sharp looking watch yeah 
pretty sharp piece. Very nice condition for, um, oh, it's been serviced in January 2020, I guess, by Rolex. Um, it's looking sharp. I mean, I don't think it's been overly polished or anything. So, yeah. I think so. What do you think, Bree? Two thumbs up for that one, right? Two thumbs up. Uh, went towards an all-around stunner. There you go. Blue, yes, Blue did pick up a stunner, but he missed that. Misses the gold GS. Yeah, <laughs> I I hear you. Once a gold stunner goes down the road, it is uh, yeah, it does take a little adjustment period <clears throat> to uh. I remember when I sold my date eight and you You know, I I didn't have a gold stunner for a period of time. And I, I just, I had to fill that hole, had to fill that hole. Right. I had to have a a gold stunner and that's when I bought the 038. And then of course, everybody knows the rest of the story. All right. I think we're going to be able to wrap it up and we're almost at an hour. We started late, so not quite an hour. But that watch, I tell you, when I look at that watch from this angle here, I can see underneath with the, you know, whatever you call the little notches that they use for the. I don't know what that decoration is around the the underside of it. Right. It's got that decoration. The way that cuts catches the light. See if you can show them. See if you can get the angle right to show them on that camera. See what I'm talking about. <laughs> and get it in focus. You got to be closer to it. You got to be closer to the camera and the distance has to be very consistent. I tell you what, take it off wrist. Let's show them the underside. <clears throat> take your time. Yeah, I don't want to wear it out. Yeah, because we don't know when the new straps are coming. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, go so ahead and cut to that camera and just show like them the un- yeah, show them that underside, and get close enough so it's in focus. You'll see when it gets sharp on the monitor. A little closer, a little bit. Yeah, there it goes. Now it's in focus. Now, what do you call that decoration around the back there, where it's kind of fluted? There is there a term for that decoration? Now, obviously, in this case, that decoration, that's not used for a tool to grip it to unscrew the, the, the case back because the case back, in this case, is held on by those four screws. So is that just a decoration? Is there a term for that decoration? Because I know on a bezel, you call it a fluted bezel. Would you call that a fluted back? Just curious if anybody in the uh, chat knows. That. That's got a gorgeous back to it, though. I like it. I love that lion. I wish mine had a gold back with the lion on it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Let us know. Well done, Brianna. All right, that's enough. Don't tease them too much with that 038. They, they probably can't get one. They're very hard to get. Very hard Scars. to get. Scarce. Scarce. Um, Blue says one gold watch is good. Well, yeah, but you got as long as you have it in your possession, one that you had in the past, I don't know if that's <laughs> if that counts. I think at some point you'll get another one blue. I think that's the way this is going to happen. I think at some point you're going to want to get another gold stunner. <clears throat> and Eduardo says it should be a date eight. If Derek was in the house, he definitely would say that. Perhaps serrated back. Blue says, I'm so sad. <laughs> Oh no! Don't be sad, Blue. We don't. We, we're not trying to make you sad. <laughs> Sorry, I teased him too much. I think. Yeah, too much. You showed it too much. Oh boy, oh boy. All right. Well, on that note, let's show your website one more time, and uh, so they know where to go to find all your links. Just go to briefitdance.com. Briefitdance.com. Blue says, I miss it, Brie. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, go there and you'll find links if you want to be so kind as to donate. Donate some Bitcoin to the lovely Lady Brie. 
because she will hold it. She has a strong hand. She will not sell her Bitcoin. She will hold it. Um, <laughs> look. Oh, my gosh. He's crying. Okay, well, that's okay. Don't cry. Yeah, that's all right. I'll tell you what you might want to do, Bri, I mean, Blue, is get yourself a faux pay. Get yourself oh, a yeah. faux pay because you could wear a faux pay. We were watching the movie True Grit last night with John Wayne. And uh, I noticed he was wearing a, a gold bracelet. It looked really cool. On one of his hands. I'd never noticed that in the wore, movie. He wore it the whole time. Yeah. The whole movie. Yeah, it was cool. It was not as thick as this. And it didn't have like this design to it. It was a smoother right. Right, right, right. thing. But Thinner. He, he was definitely wearing a gold bracelet throughout the um, throughout the entire movie. <clears throat> I would like one. And I'll tell you the advantage to the faux pay is there's no maintenance. You don't have to service it. You know, a watch, eventually you might have to service it, right? Breeze watch every three years, she's going to have to put a battery in it, right? This the faux pay, you're not going to have to do anything. <laughs> so yes. that is an advantage. Eduardo wants a 22K, 22 karat Franco bracelet from his guy in LA. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely, that'll work. Are they pretty strong and is the clasp pretty pretty durable? Because that's one thing I like about the faux pay is there is no clasp. It just stretches on and off of your wrist and there's no clasp to wear out. And by all accounts, they, they're very robust. They hold up and they don't, that stretching mechanism doesn't fail, you know, over time. It just, it just is what it is. And it just keeps, keeps right on working. So, so that's pretty cool. Well, supposedly they have one on order for you. Really? So, so, yeah, supposedly Little Treasury has a faux pay on order for you. It's just going to take a few months. Well, we don't know. She said she said that she was going to try to get it before Christmas. Oh. But I don't know how hopefully. she can get it that quick because normally it does take a couple of months. Right. So I don't know. Again, we don't know when the camera's <laughs> coming. We don't, we don't know, know when the... <laughs> We're clueless. We, yeah, we don't, we don't know when anything's happening. When something's out of our hands, we don't know. Clasp is the weak point, but he can add a barrel clasp. I have to research that. What's a barrel clasp and how does it work? Is that really um, robust? Um, we'll have to check that out. Let us know, Eduardo, if you get one. Give us a full report. Uh, Blue says, Bree, that watch looks better on you than me, so it worked <laughs> out for the best. It does look really nice on her. It really does look classy. Very classy. On on Bree. And she, she appreciates it, so... Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. Craig, what do you think about eBay authentication of their watches now? That's interesting. I didn't even know they were doing it. Do they actually authenticate them, like take them apart and look at them, make sure they're real, or do they kind of just guarantee that they're real, and if they turn out not to be real, you get your money back? I'm wondering which of those two things they're doing. Uh, let's see. Carl says people in the know are saying one Bitcoin can end up reaching over 400 K because of the limited quantities and because big institutional investors are jumping in. There are a lot of people talking big numbers for Bitcoin. And there are a lot of people saying that the herd are coming, that the, you know, the institutional investors are on their way and some of them have already started buying. So it's going to be very interesting. But that insurance company the other day bought $100 million worth. I mean, you know, that this is going to, this could get very interesting. I've been talking for months saying that this whole thing could get very interesting very fast. We could have supply shortages of Bitcoin. Definitely. And we so. will see. But here's the, here's the thing. We, nobody, nobody really knows for sure. Yeah. All these experts. We can predict, but. Nobody really just, knows for sure. Nobody can go but into I the think, I think for me personally, this is not financial advice. For me personally, just buy and hold Bitcoin. Hold it for the long haul, and you're going to be fine. Try to trade it. Try to guess the market. Try to time the market. You're going to get wrecked. There are people that sold the other day at 19600 and thought they were doing great, right? Now it's way over that. So if they want to buy their Bitcoin back, they got to pay more. Now, will it dip back down below 19 something? It might. 
But he, they don't know. They don't know that. So um, he just got in five millimeter ones. Cool. Let us know. Let us know what it's like. Maybe if you get a five mil, let us know. That'd be pretty cool. Doesn't have to be this big. This is kind of big. You know, this Large. is kind. Of, this is kind of in your face. I mean, it really is. It's a, it's a little bit over the top. I mean, it kind of dominates out. it dominates the 002 you see if the two oh yeah it dominates the 002 you can like instantly see the faux paint. <laughs> i mean <laughs> it goes right through. it is no joke um let's see uh when you buy on ebay the seller sends the watch to an authenticator and then it's shipped to the buyer wow that is interesting that seems like an expensive extra step uh, what do you think, sir? Blue says, Craig knows Bitcoin. I like Bitcoin. I mean, do I really know what it's going to do in the future? No. But yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I think long haul, I think it's uh, the thing to hold on to. Blue says, that faux pay is awesome, Craig. Very nice for you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like it. All right. We're going oh, to... Oh, could I model my dress before... Yeah, we, but we don't have that camera pointed that oh, way. that's right. Now, they can see you well, on this can, camera. Yeah, they can see here. Yeah, you want them to see that gorgeous and dress? And the boots, too. And the boots? Yeah, they'll be able to see those. Move your, yeah, move the chair. And go over there. So, yeah, yeah, like that. They can at least see the boots, kind of. There's not that much light on you back there, though, is the problem. But if you go to Bree's channel, you can click through to her her Flickr, and um, she's she's gonna get the lighting going. Turn on the big lights, uh, Bree. Turn turn on all the big lights. Turn them all on. What the heck? Uh, Craig sent a picture of my bracelet alongside a 34 millimeter Rolex. Okay, let's look at that. Yeah, turn on all those lights, Bree. And what the heck? Why don't you go ahead and, and reposition camera two? Sure. If you're going to all that trouble. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. I'm showing his, um, his bracelet with the watch. That looks good. Bree, come take a look at this. When you, when you finish doing what you're doing. <clears throat> Look, look. Oh, cool. Who that's nice. This? That's that's Eduardo's, I believe. Oh, he's got a faux pay too? That's not a faux pay. That's the, another guy that he knows that makes them. Oh. Um, can nice. you get a price for us on a bracelet like that for Brie that is six inches total length? Six inches total length. Because her, her, her wrist is five and three quarters inches five and three quarters inches so she needs one about six inches long i think so it'd be interesting to know what that what that would be priced at <clears throat> if you Bree, if you loosen that and you can pull that pull it up pull the camera up no 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 this loosen that yeah turn it counterclockwise yeah like that now pull it up and then tighten it back up once you got it pointed and then you're probably going to need to refocus it. Here, I'll focus it for you. Let's cut, cut, the can, cut to the... You go ahead and stand where you're going to be. I'll focus it. And you might have to do some hooping now that we've gone to all this trouble. Turn the big light on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait till I focus on you first. Okay, turn that big overhead light on. See the black thing hanging? There's a button on it, a round button on the back. See the round button? Turn it on. Yep, there you go. And turn on that one too. That, that little one, yeah, turn that one on. There you go. Okay, we're going to do this. Might as well light up everything. 
it's not. It's not what? It's not pointed good? Let me repoint it. Tell you what, you back up a little bit. We can get you completely in the shot. All right, let me focus on you. All right, that's good. Thank you. <clears throat> Lady Bree modeling her dress and doing a little hoop dance. And wearing those snakeskin Lucchese's. He says so the smallest he's got is seven inches. I'll send over an email to him. Let's see, six, maybe you could go six and a quarter inches, but I think that'd be about the biggest because it would be too loose. Let him know that her wrist is five and three quarters inches, Eduardo, and see what he recommends. Now, did you tweet this out, Bree? I didn't see your, your people come over from your channel. I did, but they don't like links. They don't like links, no. All right, come on back here. Let's wrap this up. Let's wrap, wrap, wrap it up. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. Get a sip of water here, sip of H2O. And eat dinner. Yes, yes, we're going to have to do that. Hungry time. Hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. And let's wrap it up by showing your your website one more time. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And we'll go to the 231 Stunner for a final time check. All right, guys. Yeah. Click subscribe. Click subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the like button and turn on notification bell.